No, thanks, okay. Chair. I'm, I'm not sure whether you're allowing us to speak on the on page 194 and the, the subsequent pages that you have indicated. Yeah. Um, I just want maybe to be to be to be clarified here or to be put at ease by the members of the committee, including your chairperson. You remember there was a document that was presented by the chief of police on this committee on the insourcing and outsourcing. Just want to know what, what happened to that particular document and what were the resolutions or the findings on that particular document that was presented by the chief of police because this there's an issue of recurring of this uh, security issues here of of, uh, of 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 securities. For instance, when they talk about safeguarding the municipal building, building, building. Where, where, where are we? What is the department's approach on insourcing or outsourcing of, 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 of securities? Whether did we took a resolution as a committee? Because there was a do's and don'ts document that the uh, chief of police presented. And also with the point three on that ego ruling department, that the, it talks about the department develop a clear licensing queue on issue of licensing also. I think we, we should then be able to, 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 to me and you went to Germany and we see how technology works. Me and you we just submitted our tax returns, we see, we know how technology, especially in those departments, work in terms of queuing and other things. This department, the Department of Licensing must then be encouraged or must then have a start on how then to you invest more on technology. That when like when you come to SARS, you just print it there or let's say Capitec, most of these councillors use Capitec, I know Prabhus. That you when you enter in the bank, you just press what you're going to do there, and then it's going to sit there, this lady that's going to shout your number there on the speaker. I think we can then be able to address some other things than these things went to mural committees and, and, and other department. And uh, with the issue of capacitating the units to deal with the bylaw enforcement. You've just indicated that it's not only EMPD that is dealing with the, the issues. But I feel that we are stressing, we are, we are, we are stretching this, the, the EMPD too much, expecting them to fulfill all their, all their mandate in, 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 in the bylaws and enforcement and, and, and capacitating them. What else we know that they are short in terms of numbers? If we can start, if we can begin and begin a start where they could then have resources, be empowered, be, be empowered to get these numbers that they require. And what, what happened with the, I'm not sure, man, the chairperson you can clarify me whether do we have a deputy chief of police in this particular unit, the bylaw is, is, is standing alone or another thing. I just want to clear, clear, clear it on that. And why specifically the EGC building must be giving the mayoral committee, they just went to the bushes and then decided that there must be security measures. They must, um, um, uh, the EMPT must, and real estate must look into intensifying, protecting that building there, that building of MMCs. What is, what, 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 what EGC is, is that building again? Yeah, where they, these people are sitting there discussing our faith. I just want to, to, to understand why you know, we, we, we it's also go post back to the insourcing and outsourcing. What what happened to that document? Because the securities that are there, I think they are doing, I'm, I'm not sure whether they are doing a wonderful job, but there's security there. Why the department now needs to um, enforce or intensify the guarding of that particular building? Just clarity on all those issues that I've, I've mentioned. The last one on the linen part, no, that means the citizen, uh, equivalent citizens are, are behaving very well. That's why we will then be spotted, the department will be spotted as linen. We are, abi we are uh, 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 abiding by the law and by law, by laws of uh, EMPT. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we are. Have you paid your fines? <laughs> Which fines? The ones on your name. No, you have a report that I don't have fines. Okay. You have the report. Thank you. <coughs>